This year, we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to take a broader look at multiple disciplines in support of sustainability with a focus on real world impact. So hence the name knowledge, uh, <coughs> knowledge to action. So sustainability at its heart is about people's well-being, not just our own, but that of people around the world and of future generations. The goal is to meet the present generation's needs without inhibiting future generations from meeting theirs. That's a challenge, especially with a population that's still growing and consuming more food, water, energy, shelter, healthcare, and other necessities of life. To meet this challenge, we must do a better job of, of managing our natural capital, Earth's life support system, as well as our technologies, knowledge, policies, and social structures. These elements all interact in complex social environmental systems. The sustainability challenge also requires comprehending how people can intervene in those systems to achieve sustainability goals. And for those of us in academia, it requires purposeful linking of our knowledge with various actions, um, and one of which is the concerns of decision makers who are pursuing sustainability. Our first panel today will explore holistic implementation of the Paris Agreement on climate, considering scientific, educational, policy, and interdisciplinary perspectives. Our students and faculty at the Paris meetings experienced firsthand the interaction between scientific knowledge and decision making. While actors from every realm of society can and need to engage in this, innovations from research and development communities are particularly needed. As researchers and educators, we must uh, more actively engage people who can utilize the results of our work to benefit the world. Today, we're going to get a frontline report or frontline reports on doing just that from several graduate students turned entrepreneurs. They're commercializing Stanford innovations in sustainable transportation greener ranching, and water sterilization for emerging economies. Then we'll consider two Stanford educational programs in which students join forces with external partners to understand the challenges of decision makers and bring new knowledge to projects meant to improve the long-term viability of local energy and food systems. Such programs contribute student talents to our Bay Area, Bay Area community while developing our students' knowledge creativity, and confidence through learning experiences outside the classroom. Last, we'll see some examples of how the university is putting sustainability knowledge into action in its own operations. These advances in energy and food infrastructure can lead the way for similarly large organizations.